Women make up about 9% of the construction worker workforce in the nation. That number grows smaller when you talk about who's on the front line of a job site. But one Rockingham County woman is leading the charge in a part of that small number. Spotting men on a construction site is normal. Women? Not so much. That doesn't stop Courtney Reynolds from giving it her all every day on job sites. As a kid, I didn't have many girlfriends. I, <laughs> I, um, I, I did hang out with the guys. I played baseball, played softball, um, played a lot of sports, and it just kind of comes natural um, to have that, that group. Hard hats and boots aren't always her daily uniform. She's in the trailer managing the work as an assistant project manager. When I had the opportunity to be to work for a general contractor, it was kind of sink or swim and I swam and I really enjoyed enjoyed the swim. From college dropout to leading an 80 million dollar new dorm project at High Point University, this is a full circle moment for Reynolds. We're here, we call the atrium. When I was in college, I really didn't have a clear path of what I wanted to do. After two colleges and three majors, Reynolds left school in search of a career fit. Managed a couple of restaurants during that time. One of the restaurant owners offered Reynolds a life-changing opportunity. Him knowing um, that I could, I could manage people and manage the restaurant, uh, that he trusted me to help him and, and manage his construction team. She says it wasn't an easy move, but it was the right one. It took me, I would say, five, six years to get comfortable um, with the industry, of course. It was brand new to me. Although general construction was a new job industry for Reynolds, it wasn't new to her family. My dad was in the HVAC business uh, growing up. He actually built uh, one of our homes. So I was around it. I just didn't know if I would enjoy it or not. So Reynolds says she loves it. She says the project is one of the most proudest moments in her career. Three or four restaurants, oh, wow. uh, a coffee uh, and juice bar, an eSports, um, yoga studio, what else? And several lounges where the students can, can study. Mm. It's like going back to college and having all that in my Seriously. dorm room. Jeez. What? It sounds like a resort. <laughs> yeah. You have a restaurant <laughs> with the with the sky view, oh, like nice. all in your dorm. That's HPU, <laughs> right? Yeah, you you, you want to pay what is it, twenty five thousand dollars a year? It's or more something. than that. It's like double. Yeah, but, uh, Manning, one of our photographers and our movie critic, of course, he he went there and he said they call it the bubble because mm. once you get outside of that, the real world's waiting. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Everything on that campus was beautiful. I love this story because she stopped going to college with an interest mm -hmm. of figuring out what's next. So she just was managing at a restaurant, working at a restaurant, and the owner was like, hey, well, I have a construction company. I think you might be good at that. Yeah. And that's how she found that's her crazy. career. Yeah, that was one of the things that stuck out to me. Because you know, in this era of great resignation, you have all these people and friends like, I want to do something else. I want to mm -hmm. do something else. But I think it's about how you sell yourself and yeah. taking the skill set that you already have to do something else. Yeah. And I mean, she's managing an $80 million project. So. $80 million. And I've you never know, touched that much. You know, it's <laughs> going to be the most stable building with the most beautiful <laughs> things in it, right? It's going to be like the best one on campus. Uh, I think too. I need to get another degree. I might go back to school <laughs> so I can stay there. <laughs> yep, it's supposed to open next fall. So students head oh, next good. fall, they'll be able to stay there. A year nice. from now. Perfect. That's really cool.